tragic night on the light rail tracks. Aurora police say a deaf man walked right in front of the R-line train during testing. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is live in Aurora where neighbors are all talking about what happened. That's right, and this is the gate right here that police say the man walked through before he got hit on the tracks here. And there's uh, blocked a little bit here in terms of, of where you can see the train coming. There are a lot of lights here that light up, warning pedestrians about getting through here. Now, though, some neighbors across the street who live here and walk this area a lot are concerned for their own safety. These R line tracks that run 10 and a half miles through the middle of Aurora aren't even open to the public yet, and already tragedy. From my scene, they've been testing it. Danny Martinez lives in the neighborhood across from the tracks and has some safety concerns of his own with a new train running through here. They should have like people stand there and like direct them in and out instead of just having people just going in and out like that. Aurora police say around 2.30 this afternoon, a 35-year-old man pushed through the crossing guards, which police say were down and fully functioning, and walked out in front of a train on a test run, killing him. And a possible contributing factor? Police say the man was deaf and mute. Their message is simple. Obey all of the crossing guard signs and warnings, and accidents like this don't have to happen at all. And disobeying those crossing arms is something Martinez says he sees a lot. Do you ever see people not pay attention to them and sort of that, walk around anyway? I see on the A-line that does happen over there. Police say the man lived in the neighborhood. Those here who spoke with us off camera say this makes them more cautious when crossing these tracks. And the uh, R line here will open up to the public. You can ride it starting on Friday. We're live in Aurora, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.